All right, so today I'm going to show you how our clients will select a photo booth template for their event. And then the steps in the process is from inside their account with Check Cherry, which is our CRM, how they can select their template, give us notes on what modifications they would like to their template. Then from there, we're going to go to the website download the template, bring it into Photoshop and do a complete edit on the template that they selected for their event. We're then going to upload it back to our account, get the approval from the client and then transfer the template to our photo booth to be used for the event. So I'm gonna go over our photo booth forms. I'm gonna show you how to download the template. We're gonna go into Photoshop. I'll show you how to create it and then what to export it as and where to upload it and all the different steps, um, how to go from Check Cherry to the final product. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the uh, vent inside Check Cherry. You're gonna go to design you're gonna see here, you'll see an image of the artwork that they selected. This is where we can upload the artwork uh, once we're done. But if you go into messages, you'll be able to see either in the email or in here, you'll be able to see the template, personalized notes, everything will be in here. So you're gonna click right here and this is uh, the Check Cherry is linked with photo booth templates and this is where they select everything so you can see which one they have selected so you're going to go here make sure you're logged in if you need the information um, i can get that to you but you're going to log into the account you're going to pick the software and you're going to say add to cart and if you go inside of our account you'll be able to see that we have these codes that give us the free access. So you're gonna copy the code. You're going to go to your cart. So you're gonna see all the available codes that you have here. You're gonna copy the latest one. You're gonna go down here and then you're gonna apply the coupon. I've already bought this template. Um, so you can apply it here and then just proceed to check out and then it'll bring the price down to zero. You check out. Once you've done that, then you'll go back up to your account you go to downloads and then what you've uh, just ordered, you should be able to download it and you'll have a download link that looks like this. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this uh, template here um, and we save them in Dropbox. So you'll see here I have a collection of template. You'll create a new folder with the date of the event. So this one is for May 14th. So you see that we've copied it into here and this is the project file in everything. From here, you want to go to README. You can see all the event, everything, but the most important thing is the font. You're gonna wanna click on these and it'll take you to a link to download the font. You're gonna need to download the font and then install the font. Most of the times we're already gonna have the font, but in case um, this is where you're gonna have to go to download it. So once we get all that set up, our next step is to install the fonts and then click on this template and then this is gonna bring it into Photoshop. So the, one of the very first things that we need to do is we need to find out what the text and the date is. So underneath questionnaire, we have our photo booth form, and this is where we're gonna copy in the information that we need um, for our photo booth template. So I'm just gonna copy that for now. Let's go back into Photoshop. So the very first thing that we need to do is we need to make this cut in half. All right, so the very first thing that we wanna do is we wanna turn off the bleed lines. We want to undo the logo, so this is what we're left with here. Then from here, we need to take everything over here, select everything, 
and then we're going to put it into a folder. Cool. Then we're going to go up to the canvas size. And because this is two Photoshop side by side, we only need one. So we're going to divide our canvas in half. And now what we're going to do is we can pick on this now that's all in a folder and then we can slide it all the way over. There we go. So it looks like it's about in the middle. All right. So that is our first step. Next, we're going to go in here. Let's find the background. So essentially what we need to do is we need to punch holes where this white border is. And so we want to make sure that we're only punching holes on the right layer. So I'm going to start turning some of this off to see which layer is which portion. So that way we can punch the holes. And then when we bring this into our Photoshop or uh, into our uh, Darkroom Boost software, we're going to put the pictures behind it. All right. So this right here is where the uh, background is, which I want to see some things real quick. All right. So this right here shows us the coordinates that we can put into our software. So we're going to turn this layer off and then we're going to go to the background. So this is our background layer here. So then what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in. We're going to grab our selection tool and we're going to draw a box. and then hit delete. You're going to deselect, go down to the next one, draw another box, delete. Go down the next one, draw another box. Doesn't have to be perfect, pretty close. Make sure to deselect, draw a box, delete. Deselect, draw a box, delete, deselect. So that gives us our cutouts for all the pictures. Then we're going to go down to the very bottom. So the next thing is to find the layer that has the text since there's uh, two of them. So you go over here and say so we have the layer that has the text. I'm going to paste in the information. Let's move it up just a little bit. Now we're going to grab the date. Move that so that it looks good. We're going to grab this. Grab this. We're going to do control all. And then we're going to make sure that that's centered. Deselect. Grab the date. Control all. Center. Make that centered. Cool. So that's what pretty much it looks like. So then we're going to go export. Export as. You want to do a PNG and then you're going to go to export and then you want to put it back in here. I would just name it 14 template. I'm going to save it here. Then from here, we're going to go out of Photoshop. We're going to go back into Oh, we need to change it. It is May 14th, not the 15th. Now we're going to go here to design. Now that we've finished our design. And we're going to go um, upload artwork version. Go browse. You know, find where it's saved.
Gonna upload the artwork. And then you're gonna go request approval via email. So then the client is gonna look at the template and they're gonna let us know if we need any kind of changes. So you're gonna say request approval via email and then that's it. And then you just wait for them to uh, approve the artwork and then they'll let us know if we want you know, any color changes or anything uh, that is different. It will come up with this email. It's automatically generated and then we push send and then we send it to the client and then we just wait back for everything. So that's the process of how to build a, uh, get a custom template that the client selects inside Check Cherry from our program. And then they give us all the information. So pretty much start to finish from the client picking out the template and then us getting all the information and then get a completed artwork, sending it to them and then uploading them, giving the feedback and uploading. And then that way we'll take that template, put it in our photo booth and we're good to go for our event.